Greetings, everyone. Pete Pardo here from CA Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Top 10 Songs. Today, we're going to look at my 10 favorite tracks from a, a band that I love a lot. Okay, a band that I've been listening to since they first came out, and they're in the mid-late 90s. That was 96, something like that. Late, yeah, late, late, latter part of the 90s, right? This band was spawned from the Allman Brothers band. Of course, I'm talking about Government Mule, the original band, including... Warren Haynes, one of my favorite guitar players. He's been like one of the best, hardest working guitar players. Great singer too of the last, you know, 25, 30 years. Um, Matt Apps on drums and originally the late Alan Woody on, on bass. So a, a great band that has a lot of really kick-ass albums. This was, this was actually really difficult. I spent many, many hours putting this list together and kind of just figuring out, man, what am I going to choose? Because... A, they've got so much material, okay? They've got great studio albums. They've got a lot of great covers. They've got some great live albums, all right? So much great material. Um, but, I, you know, I every album for me has some real favorites for the most part. Uh, I know I, I like the really early stuff a lot. Uh, they've had some really great records in the you know last decade or so. So I've tried to draw from a lot of those favorite albums of mine. Uh, a lot of really good tunes. And I do want to mention, because I, I really honed in on this while I was doing the research and re-listening to the albums and stuff. This band, almost every single album there, a studio album, starts off with a killer opening track. It's like I think Warren Haynes and company really understood the method of putting an incredible lead-off song on an album. And it's funny because quite a few of them made my top ten. All right? And that's just, you know, generally first impressions are everything. And Government Mule always kicked off every album with a blistering tune. Almost every single album. All right? Now, I'm not saying that the first song is the best song on the, on the album. In some cases, it might be. Uh, but they all made a great impression on me, right? So you're going to see a lot of them uh, in my top 10 and certainly in my honorable mention. So let's kick off with number 10. I'm going to work our way to number one. Uh, I do this from time to time just because when I'm finishing up my list, I see one track that I'm like, there's no way I can leave that off. So here I've got a tie for number 10. I'm going to pull my mulligan today. Okay, so coming in at a tie for number 10, two tracks. Uh, one, the title track to the excellent Life Before Insanity album, of course, Life Before Insanity. A really cool kind of moody, bluesy rocker that I just love a lot. It's great, great uh, vocal melodies. And coming in at the tie for number 10 with that is one of my favorite instrumental tunes from The Mule, because they have some really good instrumental songs, uh, Train, T-R-A-N-E, of course, uh, an homage to John Coltrane. Okay. Really cool, really just kind of jazzy, free jazzy, proggy, you know, all sorts of great guitar solos and weird effects and just a really, really cool tune. Got great rhythms going on, really fun tune. So those those two tie for my number 10. So number nine from one of the more recent albums, uh, Revolution Come, Revolution Go, their most recent album, uh, Stone Cold Rage. All right. Killer hard rock tune. Again, first song on the album. <laughs> That's a really good one. Dig that. If you haven't heard Stone Cold Rage, check it out. It's great. Uh, coming in at number eight from the Dose album, their second album, Larger Than Life. Muscular, cool, great vocals, blistering solos. All the things that, that make that make Government Mule so appealing to me, you know, just cranking 70s style blues rock riffs. Um, sizzling solos, uh, the rhythm section that never dies, man. It's just, and Warren's excellent lead vocals. Just, I, I mean, I, there's nothing for me, you know, and they jam a hell of a lot, right? They can get heavy, they can get funky, they can get kind of, you know, folky, more rootsy at times. Uh, they can do the fusion thing, they can do the prog thing, they can do the hard rock and metal thing, they can do anything, right? They're one of the best bands out there. Uh, number seven, from The Deep End, Volume 1. This is the, the two albums that they released after the death of Alan Woody. Um, where Warren invited a bunch of other musicians, bass players, singers, and what have you, to come in and record a couple albums with them, with him and Matt Apps. Uh, Life on the Outside. All right. Another really good kind of funky, groove-laden tune. Just dig it. I love Warren's just uh, 
man, he just uses all these different vintage guitars and amps and effects, and whether he's using, you know, like the wah wah, because he's a killer killer player on the on the crybaby. Or does he use a box? I'm not really sure. Um, and he uses like all sorts of cool chorus effects and things. Just a really the, the guy's just got amazing tone, no matter what equipment he's using. Uh, number six from the Life Before Insanity album. Once again, how about Wandering Child? Another kickoff track, right? Killer. Wandering Child just rumbles and grooves and uh, just a crazy, crazy up tempo rocker, man. Love it. All right, number five from the first album. The self-titled Government Mule album. How about Painted Silverlight? There is no hiding place. I love the moodiness of that song. And I love how it goes from like this kind of like somber, you know, kind of ominous melancholia. And then the heavy riffs kick in. Okay. And then go back and forth. It's just a very, very cool tune. And great Warren Haynes lead vocals and a song that I've seen them play live and uh, love it, love it, love it. Coming in at number four, another one of their more recent tunes uh, from the Shout album, World Boss. And if I'm not mistaken, yes it is, World Boss is another first track on an album. World Boss is amazing. It's just got really cool kind of like stop-start riffing. Uh, the chorus is great. Uh, just, you know, the, the bass is rumbling, man. It's just a, a really, really killer tune, uh, that the band plays a lot live still to this day. And the shout album came out, what, how many years ago is that? Five, six, seven years ago, something like that. Um, next back to the dose album, their second album, another kickoff tune, right? Blind man in the dark. Just another really, really good heavy rock tune from the band. You know, it's like they you could call Government Mule a southern rock band because, you know, they are all from the South. Well, you know, Warren Haynes is from the South. I believe Matt Apps is. But um, they've got that kind of southern groove thing going on. Of course, Warren plays a bit of slide guitar on a lot of tunes and stuff like that. So you can kind of call them a southern rock band. But, man, they're, you know, they're a jam band. They, they you know, they're... Warren is a big fan of a lot of the like 70s British hard rock bands, you know, like Free and what have you. So it's like so many influences coming into this band. He's a big Jimi Hendrix fan. You can hear Je Hendrix influence from time to time. Just great, great stuff. All right, so where am I? Number two from the going back to the Life Before Insanity album. Boy, that's represented three times here. How about It's Heavy, Lay Your Burden Down? Dum -bum, bum -dum -dum -bum -bum. But I just love the riff. Of lay your burden down, like I said, it's it's groovy, it's bluesy, it's heavy, it's thick. Dig it, and the chorus is awesome. Warren's vocals are great. The thundering rhythm section, just a killer tune, killer tune. And I almost made that my number one. However, my number one choice was basically predetermined before I even started this list. Uh, it's the well, technically, it's not the first song, because the first song is like a little one-minute-long spoken vocal interlude. But for all intents and purposes, it's the first song on the album. Going back to the very first album, the self-titled Government Mule album, Mother Earth. All, you know, eight, nine minutes of glory. It's bluesy. It's heavy. It's ominous. That is just a bludgeoning tune to kind of kick things off on the debut album from this band. And uh, if you've ever seen him play it live, whoo, man, it's, there's something about Warren Haynes cranking it out through a Gibson Les Paul, man. Something about it. <laughs> like, like that one right there. Um, just something about it, man. That's just so damn appealing to me. So um, anyway, that's my top 10. So let's uh, go through some a lot of honorable mentions. From the first album, let's go back to the first album. I could have picked like half the first album and put it on this list, but I didn't want to do that uh, as much as I love a lot of these tunes. Um, Rockin' Horse, Monkey Hill, Temporary Saint. Oh, that, that is, sits right outside. Rockin' Horse, Temporary Saint sit right outside my um, top 10. All right, hold on here. I added Train in, so I got to put Train back on the list. So I take it off the list. Uh, Left Coast Groovies, great tune. World of Difference, all right? It's, I mean, just basically every song on that first album is just killer, killer. From the second album, Dose, how about Thorazine Shuffle? Thelonious Beck, 
Game Face, Birth of the Mule, and John the Revelator. Tell me who that crime. From the Deep End, Volume 1, Have a Fool's Moon, Tear Me Down, Skull Mule. How about that damn Skull Mule album, huh? Ooh, John Schofield, awesome. Beautifully Broken, another great tune. From the Deep End, Volume 2, how about World of Confusion? I like that tune a lot. Babylon Turnpike, that's a good one. Try Not to Fail. From Deja Voodoo, Bad Man Walking, another great first song on an album, right? Kick-ass opening statement. That also sits just outside my top ten. Love that a lot. Uh, About to Rage. Perfect Shelter. Killer tune. Slackjaw Jezebel. New World Blues. All right. From High and Mighty. How about Mr. High and Mighty? Another great opening track on a, on a really solid album. Uh, Brand New Angel. Streamline Woman. Child of the Earth. Like Flies. Unring the Bell. Endless Parade, and of course, Three String George. From By a Thread, Broke Down on the Brazos. I attempted with putting that in my top ten. It's another killer opening track, right? Really good tune. In fact, I think Billy Gibbons plays guitar on that song. Uh, Monday Morning Meltdown, Any Open Window, and Inside Outside Woman Blues number three. That is sizzling, scorching, blues rock mania from Warren Haynes and company. That also sits at just outside my top 10. That I wanted to squeeze that one in too, but I couldn't do a three-way tie with number 10. So that's either number 11 or 12. That's awesome. From the Shout album, how about Stoop So Low, Forsaken Savior, and Funny Little Tragedy. That's kind of like a cool poppy tune for them. I dig that a lot. From uh, Revolution Come, Revolution Go, their most recent studio album. Uh, Drawn That Way, The Man I Want to Be, Killer. Sarah Surrender, another cool kind of like funky pop tune from them. I, I like, you know, obviously Warren's like solo stuff. It's kind of been bleeding into the music of Government Mule a little bit here and there. And uh, Sarah Surrender is, is totally like a Warren Haynes solo track. It's just got this kind of R&B pop bluesy flavor to it. I just totally dig it. Uh, the title track, Revolution Come, Revolution Go. Great. Burning Point, Easy Times, and the amazing Dark Was the Night, Cold Was the Ground. Killer, killer tune. So I do want to mention... Because I'm sure some of you are asking, well, Pete, what about all those kick-ass cover tunes that Government Mule does? So what I've done is I put a, a, together a list of my favorite Government Mule cover tunes. These are in no order. I'm just going to kind of give a shout-out to a bunch of them. There's so many of them. I picked some of my more my favorite ones, and there's, there's a bunch of them here. So how about uh, Mr. Big, their cover of the free classic? That is killer. All right. Uh, maybe I'm a Leo, the deep purple gem from the... Uh, wonderful Machine Head album, right? They do a great job on Maybe I'm a Leo. Uh, she Said, She Said by the Beatles. Killer. Uh, probably the first notable cover track, cover song that they ever did that got them a lot of attention, Black Sabbath's War Pigs. All right. Amazing. Uh, how about Grand Funk Railroad, Sin's a Good Man's Brother? Hell yeah. They do a fine job on that. In fact, they do a killer version of it on their brand new live album that just came out. Uh, one of my, probably one of my favorite Government Mule cover song is of the Dave Mason classic, Sad and Deep as You. Amazing. So emotional. All right. I love Warren's vocals on that. The guitar playing is off the charts. Uh, you know, this one kind of, I threw this one in here even though Warren wrote the song, right? Uh, Soul Shine from the Allman Brothers Band, a song that he uh, wrote for the Allmans back when he was in the Allman Brothers. Uh, he does that in Government Mule live from time to time. Uh, Cortez the Killer from Neil Young. That's really good. 30 Days in the Hole, the Humble Pie classic. Comfortably Numb from Pink Floyd. And also, how about Shine on You Crazy Diamond by Pink Floyd? Both parts, you know. They did a whole album of Pink Floyd covers. If you haven't heard it, it's very cool. Uh, Frank Zappa's Pygmy Twilight. That's amazing. Very intense. Uh, Jesus Just Left Chicago by ZZ Top. 21st Century Schizoid Man by King Crimson. Is It My Body from the Alice Cooper Group. Power of Soul by Jimi Hendrix. I Can't Quit You Baby, the Willie Dixon classic, also done by Led Zeppelin. And how about Leonard Skinner's Simple Man, right? Some pretty cool covers there. Uh, you can find them on various solo, um, I'm sorry, various studio albums, uh, as well as mainly on live albums, okay? Uh, usually every Government Mule live album has its share of cover tunes. So uh, whether you've got the Millennium or the various New Year's Eve live sets, whatever it is, 
cover tunes, Dark Side of the Mule, you know, there's cover songs all over the place on the live uh, Government Mule live album, so uh, be sure to check them out. So let's recap my top ten, right? Coming in at number one, Mother Earth. Number two, Lay Your Burden Down. Uh, let me tell you the albums. Mother Earth from the Government Mule album, Lay Your Burden Down from Life Before Insanity, Blind Man in the Dark from Dose, World Boss from Shout, Painted Silver Light from Government Mule, Wandering Child from Life Before Insanity, Life on the Outside from The Deep End Volume 1, Larger Than Life from Dose, Stone Cold Rage from Revolution Come, Revolution Go, and Life Before Insanity from Life Before Insanity, tied for number 10 with Train from Government Mule. There you have Government Mule Top 10 Songs and a bunch of honorable mentions. Visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Of course, we're on YouTube every damn day. Tomorrow, two extra special Top 10 Song Shows coming at you. All right? I'm going to be getting together with Mr. Jeff Young, former lead guitarist of Megadeth and amazing solo artist with his new band, Fleshy. Okay? Which new music coming out. Anyway, Jeff and I are getting together, and we're going to be doing top 10 song shows for both Angel and Bebop Deluxe. So you don't want to miss either one of them, okay? Till then, check out all the uh, content we've got here on the site, on the channel, all right? And we'll see you again over the weekend. Hopefully, I can knock out a questions and answers show this weekend as well. And i got a couple other things I'm working on. So uh, stay tuned. Don't go away. See you real soon, guys. Bye-bye.